I'm joined by Julie Johnson here at Trace Abora's Winery. We're on the second phase of our video series on the winemaking process. Now it's time for something called Verasion. The vineyard has come a long way since we last talked. I can't believe it. Last time we were here, we were in bloom, and now we have actual real live grapes here with us. So Julie, I'm gonna have you kind of tell the folks at home where we're at in the process. Well, we're actually fairly, subst fairly substantially along. What's happening right now? The vines have decided, flipped that kind of wonderful magical switch and decided to start ripening grapes. They've stopped growing more leaves. They've stopped extending their shoots. They're now ready to hum. And they're humming in the form of putting their energy into the grapes. And what that means is very simple, but it's a kind of a magical thing. So stick with me here. What happens is that things have grown. The cells have multiplied. Each cluster is full of a couple hundred different berries that have set since bloom and have started to mature, but they're still in a very, um, very firm, very hard gelatinous phase until this point. The seeds are green, the skins are taut and green, and the berry is, is tight and very firm until this point. So then what happens now is that glucose and fructose starts getting manufactured in that berry. What happens now is that the set of compounds called flavonoids, specifically the anthocyanins, start to develop, and that brings color to the skin of the grape. Things start to soften up. The seeds, in addition to the skin starting to mature, the seeds start to mature. And by the time we're ready for harvest, and we'll see this next time you're here, the seeds will all start to look, they'll lose their bitterness, or at least most of their bitterness, and they'll start to look more like um, roasted hazelnuts or roasted pine nuts, and be a little crunchy and not so bitter as well. Right now, we're in that process where we're just changing over. So we don't have 100% verasion. We don't have 100% transformation into that color. But um, but it's it's we're definitely well on our way. If you were to pick a grape right now, are we allowed to do that? Oh, and then yeah. do you, as a winemaker, when you're sort of, can I pick one too? Oh, yeah. thank you. As a winemaker, when you're going through the process, do you go and just pick them and taste them, or what? what not yet. No, not yet. Not okay. yet. And in fact, I advise you not to taste it quite yet. <laughs> well, what um, happened if I did? I kind of want to now. You told me not to. It's not going to be horrible. Let's both turn around okay. and pick the darkest berry you can find. And so, why should it be darker, Julie? Well, because that's going to give. It's going to be softer and it's will have started to form some sugar. Okay, you ready? I'm scared. Mmm, bitter, yummy though. I quite like it. <laughs> I'm no pro. At this point, uh -huh. verasion, the start of verasion, the grapes, the vines, the grapes have all the acid that they're gonna have. So at this point, it's all downhill. Decreasing the acid, increasing the sugar. And we, again, I think we talked about this last time, we want to hit that sweet spot the right amount of acid that still fills your mouth with this unctuous snappiness that makes you want to take a bite of food, that's the acid in a grape. The um, sugar, not too sweet, but we need that sugar, by the time we harvest, we need that sugar to be at least 30% sweeter than the standard table grape. The sugar reflects the character of the grape. We need lots of maturity in the grape, lots of complex flavors. So as far as your job now and when you're at the winery and you're sort of making wine and growing grapes, what is the process that you would be doing right now or do you just sort of let them grow now? Oh, we're, we're biting <laughs> our fingernails. Back. <laughs> we're biting our fingernails right now. Do we have time to get everything ready? Which means getting all the machinery checked out and you know, it really is when it gets to harvest and you'll see this, it really is a, kind of a mechanical process in a way. Although we do a lot of hand work, um, are you getting your muscles strong for that? Yes. I think so. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm glad for that, because that's what's going to happen. Beware or look forward to it, depending on your point of view. Stay tuned for September.